In this video, I'm gonna show you how to design your first 3D model on Tinkercad.com. We're gonna slice it on Cura Slicer, and then we're gonna print it out on an Ender 3 V2. So let's get started. So we're gonna to go to Tinkercad.com, and you can log in with an email or create an account really quick. This is the product we're gonna be designing. Uh, as you can see, it's four shapes total with some text, so fairly quick to design. Over on this right-hand side, you're gonna have a box. We're gonna grab that and line this up. Now, there is a solid and a hole option. With the hole, it um, makes it transparent so you can see it through the grid. We're gonna hold Shift and Control, grab this corner, and make this 60. So it is 60 by 60 lined up on every corner. So first part is done. So now we're gonna grab another square and we're gonna make this one 54 by 54. And this top white box lets us adjust the height. So make that higher than the other square. It does not matter at the moment. Now, what we're going to want to do is make sure this is even on all sides. So should be three away on each side. Move that over one. Three, 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 three. Okay, so that is centered. Now, what we need to do is switch these so this is the hole and now when you combine these it's gonna hollow it out but we need to raise that so there's a bottom so control Z reverse that we're gonna grab this and I'm gonna switch these so you can see what I'm doing click the center square grab this top black arrow and we're gonna raise it up around three or four and now what that does is that's gonna give us this bottom <clears throat> So go ahead, reverse those, make the center a hole, the outside a solid, and now you can combine these. And now we're gonna hit this group option right here, or control G. Now, we have the center of the organizer completed. Now we're gonna need this shape, which is 20 by 60. We're gonna grab another box, put this right here, 20, by 60 there we go and now this inside square 56 by 16 so we can grab another one do 56 by 16 and you can type those values in I'm just sliding it now we can get this centered that is centered and the same thing again we're going to need to raise this up because this is going to be touching the ground so go ahead raise this up one two three that looks good go ahead and we can combine these you can grab this shape hold shift grab this shape and group them now these shapes are not grouped yet so we need to group these as well and there we go it's basically done now we just add the text so now let's get this text going we can grab this text right here I like using the sans font Raise this um, I will just put your text for the sake of the video now we can grab this control shift I'm gonna make it smaller and we're going to need to center this now the width of this is 80 millimeters this text is 66.46 so we need to make this an even value we can grab this side move it in one grab this side move it in one so now it's even we're gonna go ahead and make this 60 so the width of the text is 60, the width of the organizer is 80, so we need 10 on each side to center this. One of these squares is 10, so just line that up with the border of those squares and we are good. Now, you're going to want to use these two arrows, rotate this 90 degrees, but now the issue is the text is under the work plane. We're gonna have to grab this, grab the black arrow, raise it up back to zero 
but for this item we're going to raise it to plus two so it's not touching the ground and now we're going to put this back on the product i like to use this hole right here and i can see where it's backing up so we do one in there and i'll raise one away and that looks good make this a solid again make sure everything checks out now we need to combine the text because it is not connected we will group it and there we go the product is complete now we're going to double check it make sure everything looks good everything does look good so now we're going to go to export and then save this as a .stl file it's going to go ahead and save the file and now we will take this file to cura slicer so i just opened my cura slicer and realized that a new update is out 4.13.0 so we're just going to go ahead and download that and test out the basic settings for this new update okay so we got 4.13 downloaded um, just going to go ahead and skip this add a printer so we are using an ender 3 v2 i'm going to go down to creality right here and find the ender 3 pro that's fine. Ender 3 Pro, Ender 3 V2. Okay. Next. Next. Okay. Okay. Skip all that. What's new? I'll read that later. All right. So these are completely stock settings. We're going to do standard quality, 0.2. And now we need to bring our file into here. Okay, so go ahead and drag your STL file in here, and here we go. So, most of these default settings are going to be good. Let me just review them really quick. Print with the skirt. Okay, so if we do preview, okay, we need to slice it first. So if we hit slice, we do preview. This white line right here is called the Z seam. And as you can see right here, it's on back. If we do um, change it to back right, re-slice it, now it's over here. Um, there's different settings, so random. It's all over the place. So de depending on what you're printing, that, that's just what that white line is. So I'm going to go back to here, uh, back right so that's good now see some other settings that looks good printing temperature depending on what you're printing with this will vary I'm using PLA so generally I think 215 or 220 is okay print speed 50 I'm gonna bump this up to 80 just because this isn't a crazy product um, Traction speed, traction distance, combing mode. We're going to turn this off. Um, and then build plate adhesion type. Now what this is, skirt. If we slice it under preview, a skirt is going to be this outside layer. I just like doing this because it purges the filament. If you swap colors from like black to a white, this just helps get all that black of out, out of there and so it won't bleed into the new color. Um, some different types are brim. This is what a brim is. It's, um, it's a brim. Raft. Print it on the raft and just rip it off, so. But generally, I would just like to use a skirt for most items. So we can just go ahead, use the skirt. Z-seam looks good. Everything looks good. Now. This is going to be a seven hour, 11 minute print if you're using a normal printer, completely stock. In my case, I have swapped my 0.4 nozzles to 0.6 nozzles. So up in the center of the top of the screen, you can see 0.4 millimeter nozzle. If you have a stock Ender 3 V2 or Pro, you have a 0.4 nozzle. I need to change this to a 0.6. 
And now what this will do is um, keep changes. Okay. What this will do is knock off print time. So now my print will be four hours, 33 minutes because I'm using a 0.6 nozzle. So that's what I'll need to do. And we are going to save this to disk and we will take the G code to the printer. We're going to be using the Ender 3 V2. Take this out, put that in, and we are good to go. And I will be printing my organizer with Dermic 3D filament. This is definitely my favorite filament. We're gonna be using their matte blue. Whew, that color looks so good. So super hyped to see how this comes out. All right, so the printer is ready to go. We're gonna set my phone up on this phone stand I designed, and we're gonna get a time lapse of the print being printed. And now you can go ahead and use this organizer you just designed to organize all of your 3D printing supplies. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more 3D printing videos.